Hey guys, it's Gadget Check here and today we are going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Ace. Uh, this is running on Code ROM B1B. Let's go into the about phone. Yeah, there you can see the baseband version, kernel version, built number and Android version 2.3.4. Yes, it's running on the latest Android. And you can see the UI is very smooth and sleek. Uh, the app drawer opens up quickly. It has transparent background just like the TouchWiz 4 interface on the Samsung Galaxy S2. The contact app opens up very fast, there's no lag there. The dial app also opens up quite fast and there's no lag in between switching tabs, in between apps also. Um, let's go around and take a look at the gallery. There's not, no media installed inside the device, so uh, it, I just flashed it right now. The music app is also quite fast, but remember, there's no media inside, so it might lag a little bit, but then it's not a big deal. Let's get into the task manager and see the applications or packages that have been installed. You can see there's a lot of stuff installed and a couple of them are on the SD card which is by default and let's free up some RAM right now clear memory and there you go see the amount of RAM that has been cleared that is the beauty of this ROM and the interface obviously um, the power control widget I like to play with it so please excuse me if I'm behaving like a child right now so let's get into the app drawer again uh, and open up an app. Let's see which one should we go for. Yeah, let's go for the my files up on top. Yeah, so that also opened up fast, quite fast, and there's no lag there, so it's quite beautiful. And there you go, the gingerbread animation. Yes, everything. <laughs> Everyone was waiting for this. And let's do it again. And bam, <laughs> there again it goes. It's quite interesting to see this a couple of times. Now let's get into the tutorial part of the video. I'll teach you how to enable the gingerbread CRT animation. Get into the app drawer, go to the root explorer, uh, go into the systems folder, which will come up right now. There it is, the systems folder. Uh, there's a file name build.prop. Copy that. Uh, uh, make sure you have the mount option to the correct one otherwise you can't copy it so go copy it uh, paste it on your SD card go back again take open up the SD card paste it there and that should do it now what you have to do is edit it so I'll do a screencast on the editing right now and come back to you guys just in a sec all credits for sharing this amazing hack with us goes to the XDA member TR Supradeep uh, the link to his post will be given below in this video's description. You guys can check that out and post all your feedbacks and comments there and share a like with him also. Get into the phone, the SD card where you copy the built.prop file. Copy that file to your Windows PC and open it with a notepad application uh, i'm using wordpad right there which is a free application copyright free so there is a just open it up it's open in wordpad which comes pre-installed with windows um, so uh, you get a file something like this so the only change you have to make is right there you'll see this debug.sf.hw equal to one all you guys have to do is go in front of debug put a hash there like that there the hash and that should do it what it does is turns this into a comment and hence the Android system uh, debugs this as a comment and not as something that limits the CRT animation so now when this turns into a comment the CRT animation is actually enabled on the system so save it use control s save it once that's done close the window copy this back to your SD card and from the SD card what you guys have to do is copy it into the systems built.prop folder and replace it with the original one and then reboot your phone and bam there you're done that's it and when you press the power key you can see the animation thank you guys if you like this video Hit the subscribe button above for more interesting videos. Thumbs up, comment and like. See you guys next time.